Hey everybody, what's going on? Late night here at PC911. I got a super sweet laptop that I'm working on. Take a look at this, baby. It's probably one of the hot, at least in PC, the highest end PC that I've worked on or that we've had here in a while. We recently had a super high end uh, MacBook. This pretty much takes the cake. Let me tell you what this is. This is a Razor Blade Pro 17. I'm going to give you some of the specs over here. This is a 10th Gen i7. And, and why is it here? We're upgrading it. So ima imagine this. Right? We're going to come up here and get some of the specs up here. So I'm going to read the specs up here. You got a 10th Gen i7. You got. A 500 gig uh, PCIe drive. Really, that's not that crazy, right? Uh, you got 16 gigs of RAM, right? Good. 300 refresh rate on the screen. 300 hertz uh, refresh rate on the screen. Uh, what else we got over here? And a RTX 2080. So, super, super sweet. And of course, you know, the brand top-notch gaming. So why is it here? What are we going to upgrade on on this computer, right? What are we going to upgrade? Well, you heard I did tell you it has a five uh, a 512 solid-state PCIe. So I guess you would say, yeah, that's not nothing out of this world. Let's, up, let's upgrade it. What would we upgrade? Actually, first of all, it has two PCIe slots. Why the lighting here is not that great. So you got two SSD slots. Yeah, there's two SSDs in there, so now you're seeing already what we did. So it came only with one 500. So a customer said, I want to upgrade that. So we went out and he got himself a two terabyte. Damn, that's an upgrade. Two terabyte, of course, he's going to have a Samsung Evo, Evo Plus 970, right? To upgrade that baby, right? So you're like, that's pretty awesome. That's an awesome upgrade. But that's not enough. The dude put another one. We're putting two. Two terabytes. One, two. Four terabytes of NVMe uh, solid state on this thing. I don't know what kind of storage he's going to put, but whatever he's going to store pretty sweet. Four terabytes. RAM, what do we have? We said we had uh, 16 gigs. Of course, you're laughing. 16 gigs. Get out of here. Right? So yeah, he had uh, 8 and 8. We're going to bump that up a little bit. What do you say we go to we got 16? Go to 32? Come on. You know we're not going to 32. The dude's going to 64. I'm jealous now because I have 32 on my desktop. And we went to 64. Bam, bam. 4 terabytes, 64 gigs. That is sweet. So, a couple just uh, notes here. If you got one of these, Probably not a lot of these, not a lot of them out there. These things are. This thing is uh, twenty nine hundred dollars without the upgrade. The uh, the upgrade, if you want to do it, it's extreme. I mean, they they made this very very easy to upgrade. Back cover comes right off, no clips, no nothing. Some uh, T fives all the way around, right? You're just gonna pop that off. Disconnect your battery right here, pop that baby off, and then you got a Phillips on both of these SSDs, and you're going to switch it and just take one out, put the other one in, pretty simple. What we did here is we cloned his drive. I mean, his drive is in here, one of these. So here, if you already have it set up and you want to do a clone, this is awesome as well, because if you only have one, what you do is put the solid state in the other one, or put the other solid state in the other one, 
And then if you're using Samsung, which is even better, you just go to Samsung's uh, site, just uh, search uh, Samsung, what is it called? And if you do have a Samsung, they have the free software for it. It's called Data, data Migration. Yeah. So Samsung Data Migration. And I don't know if you can see it, but this is in a tutorial anyways. So just pull that up, Data Migration. It'll show you the your current drive. It'll tell you the, uh, the target drive. Well, you kind of see it there, but I'm not going to do it. And if your target drive is a Samsung, this is free. Took, uh, I don't know, took about 30 minutes. Not even 30 minutes. Had very little, very little data on there. So if you do have a Samsung, that'll help. If it's not a Samsung, then there's some other tools out there. You could use some of them. Acronis, and there's a couple other things out there. So made that clone, and that's it. Up and running. And then uh, popped in the two RAMs, swapped those out, popped those two in, and we're good to go. So this was a super sweet upgrade, and if you guys want to do it yourself, it's Pretty straight up, uh, pretty easy. It's a nice clean board, very good cooling. Four fans, got the two main fans, and these up here, frankly, uh, I don't know what they're cooling. But that's what's going on, right? RAM upgrade, solid state upgrades. And that's what's going on tonight at PC 911.